Ten. Super 2010. You, Jerry? Halloween was like a month ago, bro. That's him. <laughs> Super is a black comedy superhero film written and directed by James Gunn and stars Rain Wilson, Ellen Page, Liv Tyler, Kevin Bacon, and Nathan Fillion. Following a premise that convinces with cult director James Gunn's typical strengths and clever ideas, Super reimagines the superhero genre in a cynical way. When his wife falls under the influence of a mighty drug dealer, some normal guy wants to become a superhero and save her. But for that, you should at least have some heroic skills. We totally fucking beat evil! You're not supposed to kill him! Oh, and then he'd never be a car again, would he? A brand new fucking Jetta, Frank! Melissa loved that car! Don't say that! What, Frank? Don't stop saying! <laughs> Number 9. Blade 2, 2002. You've been training for two years to take me out. And now here I am. Whew. Ooh, so exciting. Blade 2 is a superhero horror film directed by Guillermo del Toro and stars Wesley Snipes, Chris Christopherson, Ron Perlman, Leonore Varela, and Norman Reedus. This sequel to the unexpected hit that the predecessor was comes with even greater direction and heavier influence on the future of our beloved comic book movies. This time, our favorite slasher assassin is forced to work with the vampires he hates in order to save the whole planet from a new and deadlier breed of hell. What's the matter? You missed that? It's okay, I can do it again. Dobre, Reinhardt! Dobre! Come on! What, you need a manual? I'm fucking do it! Do it! Come on! Then see ho! Number 8. Constantine. 2005. Fire! I was born of this! How's my mind crossing over you, half breed piece of shit? Constantine is a 2005 occult detective film directed by Francis Lawrence and stars Keanu Reeves, Rachel Weiss, Shia LaBeouf, and Tilda Swinton. It is the story of an ordinary man with an extraordinary gift. Now he has no choice but to save the planet from the purest evil. Being able to see spirits, both good and bad, that walk among us unnoticed, Constantine is given the responsibility to act as a guardian in the middle ground between them. You do know what it is to truly be forgiven, to be welcomed into the kingdom of God. Demon in heaven. Love to be able to fly on that wall. You're not a priest. You have no power. Number 7. Blade, 1998. Vampires? <laughs> Who said I was a vampire, huh? Nobody. Blade is a superhero horror film directed by Stephen Norrington and stars Wesley Snipes, Stephen Dorff, Chris Christopherson, and M. Bush Wright. In this revolutionary take on superhero cinema, we are introduced into a world of vampires, demons, and action horror that will leave you in awe. Following a half-mortal, half-immortal assassin on the mission to find salvation, Blade delivers a hyper-stylish and creative roundhouse kick in the heart of comic cinema and constantly offers surprising twists and turns. You gonna rob me too? How do you think that we fund this organization, huh? We're not exactly the March of Dimes. It's fake. Number 6. The Crow, 1994. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Crow is a superhero film directed by Alex Proyas and stars Brandon Lee, Ernie Hudson, and Michael Wincott, leaving behind a tragic legacy regarding its main protagonist, but more because of its gothic world and stylish visuals. The Crow is a superhero movie of the other kind. Once murdered and having everything he loved taken away from him, Eric rises from the dead to become a powerful undead being and finds salvation and revenge against the gang that killed his fiancée. Jesus Christ walks into a hotel. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> he hands the innkeeper three nails and he asks, Don't you ever fucking die? Number 5. Kick-Ass 2010. I'm Kick-Ass. You mail me? Please! Oh, 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 oh,
Kick-Ass is a 2010 superhero film directed by Matthew Vaughn and stars Aaron Johnson, Christopher Mintz Plasse, Mark Strong, Chloe Grace Moretz, and Nicolas Cage. Why do superheroes not exist in the real world? The answer to that question seems obvious to many, but not to Dave, a teenage boy who dreams of being the world's first comic hero. What starts as an internet meme soon becomes an absurd course of events filled with crime bosses, exploding heads, and a lot of brutal action. Oh, no, 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 it's me, it's me, all right? So, I, I was only just trying to surprise you, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, why are you just as kick-ass? Because I am kick-ass. What are you talking about? And I'm also not gay. Number four, Deadpool 2, 2018. What's your name? Captain Delicious Pants. Who's Captain Delicious Pants? Deadpool 2 is a 2018 superhero film directed by David Leitch and stars Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin, Marena Baccarin, Julian Dennison, Zazie Beetz, and TJ Miller. This sequel to the original surprise hit that changed the superhero genre is quite often even considered better than its predecessor. Deadpool is back with more violence, action, vulgarity, and a bit of love struggles. Now on an ultimate revenge trip, he finds himself haunted by time-traveling soldiers and gigantic mutants. Just a common day for the merc with a mouth. Fire fist! Fire fist. Ooh, that's a great name. Where does it burn? Just the fist or all the way up to the elbow? All the way up to the elbow. Go. Number 3 Watchmen 2009 Watchmen is a 2009 neo-noir superhero film directed by Zack Snyder and stars Malin Akerman, Billy Crudup, Matthew Good, Carla Gugino, Jackie Earl Haley, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Patrick Wilson. What if superheroes existed in the real world? What would change? Would they be shining idols or flawed human beings? These are the big questions of probably the darkest superhero movie yet. As the world is at its brink of collapse and masked vigilantes are hunted criminals, a group of ex-heroes goes on one last twisted mission. Yeah, she was real nice. She said hiring ex-cons are part of the company program. Give people a second chance. God, please let go and tell her the truth. Ah! Ah! Number two. Deadpool 2016. Captain Deadpool. No, just, just, just Deadpool, Deadpool, yeah. Deadpool is a 2016 superhero film directed by Tim Miller and stars Ryan Reynolds, Morena Baccarin, Ed Skrein, TJ Miller, and Gina Carano. When Wade Wilson is dishonorably discharged from the Special Forces, he agrees to an experiment that promises to give him superhuman abilities. He wakes up from the experiment to find himself disfigured, but with the ability to heal at a supernatural speed. Wade then embarks on a journey to take revenge from those who harmed him and transforms into his alter ego, the Deadpool. The day I decide to become a crime-fighting shit swizzler who rooms with a bunch of other little whiners at the Neverland Mansion of some creepy, old, bald, Heaven's Gate-looking motherfucker, on that day, I'll send your shiny happy ass a friend request. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1 Logan 2017 Logan is a 2017 superhero film and stars Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, Boyd Holbrook, and Daphne Keene. 
In the year 2029, the X-Men are no longer together and the mutants have slowly lost their powers due to a technology that suppresses the mutant gene. When a special child with extraordinary powers is pursued by a group of evil scientists, Logan is assigned to look after Laura and protect her from all who want to harm her. I'm gonna count three, and you're gonna start walking away. I got rights to this one. One. I have a lawyer now. Two. Two. Three. Uh, uh. All right, boss. You know the drill. Oh, goddamn hat. Get the hell out of here. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments.